Noble Six came to Noble Team as a replacement, but a replacement to who? Today we're going to discuss who may be considered Noble Seven, or the original Noble Six, and the backstory of what is basically at this point the forgotten Noble Team Spartan. Let's go ahead and get into it, it's gonna be a good one guys. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources. I disagree. Commander. So that's our new number six. Cat, you read his file? Only the parts that weren't covered in the black ink. In Halo Reach, Spartan B-3112, or also known as Noble Six, whom we experience Halo Reach the game with, was a Spartan 3, and during the fall of Reach in the summer of 2552, he was assigned to Noble Team to take the place as Noble 6. Although it's not overly relevant to the story itself, at least the game that we got to play, we have to wonder what happened to the original Noble 6, the Noble 7 if you will, and what caused Spartan 3112 to enter the picture in the first place. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter, Noble Team's leader. That's Cat, Noble 2, Meal and George, 4 and 5. You're riding with me, Noble 6. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing, I've seen your file. Even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. So who was the original Noble Six? Well, his name was Tom. Like many Spartan Threes, became an orphan as a consequence of the Human Covenant War and the Glassings of the Covenant, and he wanted revenge. After volunteering for the program, Tom was brought to Onyx for training under Ambrose and Franklin Mendez in late 2531. Along with a few others, he was considered one of the best Spartan Threes and was given the Manir Powered Assault Armor. About two decades later, Battle of Fumarole on April 22, 2552, Noble Team along with Tom and Cat went to destroy a Covenant battle cruiser. When Cat was hit by a Banshee fuel rod bomb, she lost her arm, and that's when Tom came up to grab the fusion device and jetpacked up to the ship's battle cruiser's gravity lift. When inside, he threw the nuke into the ship and ran. Many people figured that this was actually Noble Six, just kicking ass, and he got out safely. Well, no, it was actually Tom here, and unfortunately, he did not survive. In fact, this whole sequence really is about the sacrifice of Tom and how he died in the war. He did not survive, and despite trying to get off the ship, he just didn't get off in time. This trailer was actually created before Bungie decided to depict Spartan B312 with default armor and promotional materials. So it's likely that Tom wearing the same armor was actually to help associate the image with his would-be replacement. And what's also interesting about Tom is that his service tag, A293, is also a reference to Bungie's obsession with the iconic number 7. So if you did the equation of 2 plus 9 plus 3 equals 14 is actually just 7 times 2. But at the end of the day, Tom and what he did was successful. He did destroy the Covenant battle cruiser and he did sacrifice his life, something that the rest of Noble Team would eventually do to the war, and was actually, interestingly enough, the catalyst for Spartan B312, or also known as Noble Six in Halo Reach. And it's a pretty damn good thing that Noble Six came because, well, he was the one that delivered Cortana to the right hands. Carter and Kat felt responsible for Tom's demise, unable to realize Tom knew it was his choice to take the bomb. But it sort of makes sense, especially for Kat to feel guilty about Tom dying simply because, well, she fell, she got hit by a fuel rod bomb, and he came up to assist her. And if anybody should have died, it would have been Kat in that explosion if she had been the one to go up there and do the thing in the end, right? So it kind of sucks we never really got to see much of Tom besides this trailer and a few other things. Since he was, after all, the original Noble Six of Noble Team, you think we would have heard or seen a little bit more about him. 
But nonetheless, his sacrifice and his death led to Spartan B312, the Noble Six that we know, love, and cherish, to become his successor, and basically bring Cortana to the right hands. And Cortana being a key part of the war, maybe it's actually a good thing that Tom did die, so Noble Six could be the one to deliver Cortana to the right hands successfully and not fall to the Covenant. So, what did you guys think of Tom, the original forgotten Noble Six and member of the Noble Team? Would you like more videos exploring the backstory of what may be considered irrelevant to the story itself? If so, let me know down in the comment section below. If you know any cool things about Halo Reach that I should make a video about, be sure to let me know about that too. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts, feelings, and theories about all this and more, so be sure to share it down in the comments. Guys, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our Facebook link down in the comment section below facebook.com slash halo follower tons of epic posts there by alistair and guys i will see you in the next one bye bye later